Hi, I'm Liam from Valves and welcome to this week's Absentee Home Renovator Auction. Well, it went really well last week, so everyone seemed to uh, work out how we were doing things with the restrictions. Uh, just to refresh you, uh, it is an absentee auction, so unfortunately due to the restrictions, uh, you can't come in and have a look at the items. That's why I'm going to do an extra long video again today. Uh, and obviously it's click and collect once you've won the items. If you do want to bid, uh, there is a how to uh, absentee bid at the end of this video. Uh, it's quite easy, you go on to the website and each item will have its own, uh, own page if you like, uh, once you've clicked view items and then you can click absentee bid. Uh, the highest absentee bidder will obviously be contacted on Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning uh, and uh, hopefully you'll get some good news. Let's have a look at it, there's plenty to have a look at. These are absolutely beautiful, the, uh, the stylist um, wood heater. Uh, very nice looking unit there. That's uh, I reckon with the wood heaters in this week, the bidding's been around that 600 to 1,000 mark, just depending on the model. Uh, absolutely beautiful, the Scandia Supremacy, uh, the 300, so it's got the, um, the beautiful panoramic glass. Uh, nice big units, a very beautiful big unit, uh, and it's got the 300 square metre heating capacity. There is also one of the smaller ones, the 200s. Uh, nice again, you've got the, um, the, the panoramic glass, the big size there, uh, really nice. And all of these have got three months factory warranty. Another one of these, Style East. Uh, this one's without the box, so that lot I showed you at the very start, this one's just uh, it's by itself. Uh, and we also got um, the... Um, uh, the Helix in this week, so there's a, a Scandia Helix wood heater. Uh, swinging around now, now, the next thing I want to show you is these beautiful beef eater, uh, A grade beef eater double door fridges. Uh, really nice looking units there. I'm guessing the bidding will be around that 850 to 950 mark. 12 months factory warranty, A grade, so they are in really good nick there. Uh, very, very popular usually when they come in, so I don't think they'll last through and, uh, through, through tomorrow. Uh, really nice looking dishwashers. I want to show you the, uh, we've had a heap of these Electrolux dishwashers come in, all different models, but the one I want to show you first up, we've got about five or six of these. This is the really deluxe one, so it's got the Comfort Lift bottom rack. So have a look at that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's got that there. Uh, and underneath, I don't know if, if you can see under there, it's got a really, a really snazzy um, jet bar there with the, with the circular uh, thing on there. So it's, uh, this is a really top of the line dishwasher. Uh, there are, I'm guessing, about yeah, five or six of them. Uh, bidding, probably around, I reckon, pretty close to a thousand bucks. I reckon the bidding will be on those, but they are absolutely Fabulous. Uh, again, spinning through here, I can see we've had a heap of front load washers come in from Electrolux. Uh, 7 kilo, 8 kilo, 9 kilo. I really like these ones, the Ultimate Care 800 there. Um, and you can look on the catalogue again and, and Google them and find out all about them. Uh, so really nice looking gear. I'm reckoning with those front loaders, you're probably sort of six to 800 bucks would be about my guess there. Uh, a load of front loaders there as well, uh, mostly Simpson branded, mostly 11 kilos, I think. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, mostly 11 kilos. Nice big units there. Uh, on the other side, this is more of this uh, Electrolux stuff and Westinghouse stuff. Really nice gear. Uh, these are pretty good. The, two, the um, lot 280, check in the catalogue. Uh, that's the Westinghouse. Uh, pretty well there, top of the range. Um, they're a really nice looking unit. Um, there's a lot, actually, there's quite a few different Westinghouse here. Really nice. Uh, so check out 280 and 279. They're really nice. Uh, and then this also caught my eye, this Electrolux lot number 278. It's a pretty nice looking unit as well. Got the cutlery rack at the top. Uh, and it's got a lot of features and functions. Um, you've got uh, the big digital display there. So uh, some really nice looking units. Sensational, in fact, those, all, all those dishwashers. Loads of fridges as well. Um, we've got plenty of fridges to, to show you as well. There's um, um, Westinghouse. Uh, Kelvinator Electrolux will be the main brand, so uh, have a bit of a scoot through there, th th through the catalogue. Uh, still got a little, little bit of unreserved stuff to go. Uh, there's a couch over the back there, unreserved, uh, and all these seats in various bits and pieces. You can check them out on the catalogue, sort of in that early 300s mark uh, in the catalogue. You'll see all that, so unreserved there. Uh, still can see some gas log fires. Went through a few last week, quite a few last week. Uh, this is the, um, the, the, the Avidur uh, 
gas log fire, around $4,000 in the shops. You'll be bidding around $1,400 tomorrow uh, with a warranty. Uh, they run on natural gas, but you can also uh, convert them over to LP gas if you so desire it. Well, there's a kit inside that you can switch it over to. Still got mountains of air conditioners uh, in the Scandia uh, Adenas. Uh, there's a 2.3, 3.2, 5 and 7 kilowatts or thereabouts and you're bidding between sort of four and 700 on those just depending on the size. Just before we go down there's heaps more of these front loaders there. I can see there's an Ultimate Care 700, an Ultimate Care 800 there, a couple of nice dryers, the beautiful Electrolux 7 kilo dryer there and also a Simpson 4.5 kilo dryer. So heaps of laundry stuff in and really nice laundry stuff as we go through. Sold a couple of these last week, the beautiful big KitchenAid uh, double door fridges uh, in that high 3,000 marks. So I think about 3,900 was about the money and that's probably what the vendor was looking for those but those are sensational. Uh, they were $11,000 when they came out a couple of years ago so big savings to be had and there's uh, only a couple of those left now. As you can see mountains of fridges, check your catalogue through there. You'll generally be about half of the normal sell price on all of these so really nice looking uh, gear through here. Uh, looks like a dish drawer there, mightn't have sold it last week. Uh, maybe it's another one. Anyway, lot 339, the dish drawer out of Euro. Uh, three months factory warranty there. Still got mountains of Frankie taps. And again, you'll be half to a third of retail on all these. Uh, there's chrome finish. There's the beautiful black, matte black finish uh, with the pull-out sprayer as well there. That's pretty nice. Uh, and also, what have we got? Uh, I think there's also some white ones. Uh, lots of bathroom furniture, uh, bathroom tapware through here as well. Uh, plenty of bathroom tapware there. More Frankie taps. Uh, uh, so a really nice offering there. Just check your catalogue on those. But as I said, about sort of half to a third of retail. Uh, got quite a few of these cooktops. These Amiga branded cooktops. And you're going to be in the, probably the low to mid 100s there uh, with a warranty. So pretty nice there. More bathroom furniture up the top. Got some sinks, bathroom furniture. There's a white tap for you. Lot 372. It looks like there's quite a few of those. You'll be in the low to mid 100s for them. Uh, seen them online around that sort of four to five hundred dollar mark. So uh, really good savings there. Lots of wall ovens, mountains of wall ovens in fact. Uh, Asato, uh, the two Asatos there, they're about that mid $200 mark. Uh, two years warranty on those ones. Uh, also lots of Euro stuff as well. Uh, and you're going to be sort of a half to a third of what they normally sell for. And that all that Euro stuff is going to have three months uh, factory warranty there. A couple of cooktops up the top there as well. Nice looking stuff there. Uh, down the way, way back here, I can see we've got lots more wall ovens there in both 600 and also a 750. There's a 750 mil wall oven, uh, so you might that size might suit you down to the ground. Uh, so there's some really nice stuff there, and again, all that stuff will come with warranties. Um, so you'll uh, you'll do pretty nicely out of there. What else can I show you? There's a fair bit to have a look at. Uh, we might go and have a look across on this uh, this far wall over here. I can see there's still some of these wall hung vanities down the front here. They are really nice. They are um, fantastic. These 1200 uh, wall mount vanities. I'm guessing about that sort of high twos, early 300s would be about right there. Uh, what else we got? Some new stuff on the wall here as well. Um, some beautiful compact ovens, steam ovens. Uh, what else can I show you there? There's a nice looking steam oven. You're probably um, steam, steam cooking there, probably looking around that three, four hundred dollar mark I would be thinking. Uh, Electrolux Westinghouse ovens here, beautiful looking units. Um, just on the other side, we're just starting to hit a bit of this, uh, this other furniture, this ex showroom stock furniture. Uh, a lot of glass uh, furniture, so you've got uh, the mirrored cabinets. Um, I'm guessing the bidding will be sort of most, for most of this stuff, sort of one to two hundred dollars. Maybe if it's a bit bigger and a bit snazzier, uh, maybe you know up to $400 perhaps, but just depends what you think it's worth. You just put your bids in um, and hopefully it's good news at the end. Uh, but have a look, I'll get Jackson just to film, film through here. There's so much of it, it's absolutely beautiful. Then we'll spin around and we'll have a look at the ovens and stuff on the other side uh, shortly. This uh, I can see a heap of a heap more dishwashers as well, uh, freestanding cookers. So yeah, plenty of this uh, this mirrored furniture uh, and in the shops it's, it's thousands of dollars in the shops. So yeah, a couple of hundred, three hundred as I said, just depending on the size, will be depending on, on where the bidding's going with it. Uh, some nice gear up the front here, that's a nice big 
Uh, 900 cooker there, uh, lot 103, oh, I guess about sort of 700, 800 would be about the right money there. Uh, we've got lots of, quite a few freestanders here, I'll get the lot numbers, the wind's just blowing the lot numbers over, uh, so you better see these lot numbers. Dishwashers through here, I'm guessing a couple of hundred bucks each on the dishwashers, that's a nice one, the 600 Blacks freestanding oven, ceramic cooktop on the top, uh, so it's a, it looks like it's an all electric, lot 108, that's a really nice looking unit there, uh, out of Belling, which is a top brand, uh, Euromade front load washer machine there eight and a half kilos let me have a guess probably about sort of 400 bucks I'd be thinking it'd be about the right money there uh, through here some more dishwashers nice stainless steel all electric there probably about the three to four hundred dollar mark would be about right on those so there's a nice big 10 kilo euro made uh, washing machine there so there's some really really nice looking gear through here and again it's all in your catalogue uh, let's see what else I can show you. There's something. There's a few bits and pieces around the corner I want to give you a look at. Uh, some range hoods here. We've got a, a 850 wide undermount range hood. You don't see a lot of those come in. I'm guessing sort of $150 would be about right there. Uh, Nice looking black uh, freestander here, uh, Euro made black freestander, gas on top and I would imagine it's ga uh, electric oven, uh, let's see if I can have a look here, yep, electric oven, gas on top, nice looking unit there uh, in the black, uh, beautiful looking setup there, it's all complete, everything's there. Um, what else can I show you here? Looks like there's a uh, front load washing machine, five kilos, couple of hundred dollars for the five kilos there. Uh, nice looking Euro black dishwasher. Ooh, black glass. Very nice looking. Is that black glass? I can't tell if it's glass or not. It's very shiny. Um, it's a nice looking unit, fully integrated, 14 place settings. Uh, black panel attached, I get it. Yep, so it's um, it's sort of like a, like a laminex finish. A um, couple of hundred bucks would be right for that. Um, more, more dishwashers through here. Uh, what have we got? A gas all gas freestander there, 540 mil, uh, both in stainless and white, so they're pretty nice. Uh, more dishwashers through here, probably this run of dishwashers, 140, 141, 142, 143, a couple of hundred dollars a piece on those would be about the, be about the money. Uh, then what have we got here, uh, six kilo dryer out of Electrolux, nice looking unit there, probably around that mid 200, mid to late 200 dollar mark, so some really good looking stuff there. Uh, what else can we have a look at? Across this wall, yeah, there's some bits and pieces across this wall that I want to see. Uh, still got a few coffee machines, sold a few of these last week. They're just about run out now, but they're um, a really nice, the KitchenAid built-in coffee machine. Uh, anything like that in the market, you'll be looking at sort of two and a half, three thousand dollars $3,000 starting money, uh, and you'll be able to bid around that $1,600 mark on that. Uh, I saw a couple of bids go through at $1,600 last week that were successful, so uh, if you're thinking about doing one of these, uh, I can personally vouch for it. I've got one in my house and it's absolutely fantastic it's on about its 2000th cup uh, really nice looking unit uh, there's a couple of these KitchenAid um, uh, range hoods here uh, around 600 wide it's a built-in it's not a slide out so nice looking units here sort of around that high $100 mark then these beautiful big uh, Electrolux and Westinghouse 900 um, 900 ovens uh, really nice looking gear there uh, the twin fan inside huge cooking zone inside um, all the all the bells and whistles on those and you're probably around that probably around that two two and a half thousand dollar mark but there's quite a few of those there as well so really nice looking gear um, there's a euro one there as well uh, 900 euro I'm guessing about sort of six seven hundred dollars for the for the euro one nice Nice big cooking area again. Uh, there's an Electrolux 600. They never last, the Electrolux 600s when we get those in. Uh, pyrolytic oven, I'm gonna have a crack. Probably $1,100, $1,200 would be about right there. Uh, and then also there's uh, this Euro one here. I think we've got quite a few of these. Uh, and they've been sort of around that $400 mark there. Lot 84, Italian made, uh, really nice and solid. Two years warranty and you're about that sort of $400 mark on those. Usually I've seen plenty of bids go through and be successful at 400 bucks. So uh, loads more of this mirrored furniture. Uh, it's really nice stuff. Um, so yeah, the bigger pieces I'm, I'm guessing will probably get about that, probably get mid twos, early threes for the big stuff, uh, maybe even more, it just depends on the day. Uh, still got plenty of these KitchenAid dishwashers, uh, really nice unit, slot 88, uh, they were around sort of 1200 bucks uh, or more in the shops when they went, we're, we're going in the shops. Uh, obviously you need to put your front on so it's an integrate, fully integrated unit. Uh, I've got plenty of friends who've bought these and they're really happy with them. Uh, you'll be mid 300s on those so uh, and you shouldn't miss out at this stage. I've seen that there's plenty, still 
plenty out the back, but we've, we've, we've been through a couple of hundred of them, and I think there's probably at least a hundred left. So uh, that's a nice wine fridge there. I think we may have sold, yeah, we've sold about sold a couple of them. Uh, they're always popular when they come in. Uh, you're 900 to 1,000 on the on that that beautiful big wine fridge. Uh, should have still a few of these ones as well. The Euro, uh, the Euro dishwasher, uh, always popular when they come in. Again, mid 300s, and you're um, you've got uh, you're in a box with a two year warranty. So really nice there. Uh, the Euro 900, you're about with gas on top and electric inside. Um, rotisserie in the oven, around that thousand dollar mark. I'll get that away, I reckon. Uh, then I've still got some of these salt uh, 900s as well, uh, and you'll be under 900 there. I reckon bit about 850, and you should be right on that. You should you should get through. Uh, some nice velour stuff here. Uh, so you got some a little bit of XI furniture, not much there, but it's uh, pretty nice what is there uh, in the in the that dark pink, uh, mid blue and black. Uh, these are all going to be unreserved. So you just tell us what you think uh, your maximum bid will be on those. Uh, we'll compile them all together, and we'll see what. Uh, so hopefully, it's good news for you. Coming through now, have a look at all this gear outside. There's pallet after pallet of uh, tiles. So a couple of bucks a metre for the tile for all the tiles. Just uh, getting pointed out as well. Uh, got a couple of a couple of pallets of uh, bench tops as well. Uh, 2.22 metres by 600 mil. So 2.22 by 0.6 if you like. 40 mil on the edges, uh, and you're about 200. 280 bucks will be about right on those so if you're doing a kitchen that will be really really handy for you loads of pallets of tiles and a bit of bluestone as well uh, and also a little bit of outdoor furniture um, so there's some this is some fun bits and pieces out here as well uh, and again you'll be able to see that in the catalogue uh, with the catalogue you can download the PDF but you can also hit view items and each individual item will come up with an individual photo and that's the best place to put your bids in you can put your name phone number email address uh, minimum bid maximum bid and uh, and we'll take it from there so but I can see some really nice stuff uh, coming through here as well so it's a fantastic looking auction again we went really well last week I think everyone uh, worked out what we were doing so that was terrific uh, one thing is what if you are successful we'll give you a call uh, we'll organize a credit card payment so that when you get here we can do a contactless click and collect so just be ready for the phone call with the good news uh, have your credit card handy we'll get that going and then we can um, we can organise for you to pick it up all the way up till just after lunch on Saturday. So that's fantastic. Thanks, folks. There's also a timber auction this week, so make sure you watch the timber auction video and check out all Michael's interesting bits and pieces. He's got some really good stuff out there as well. Thanks, folks. Good luck and see you next week.